So we have our camera that we can place anywhere in the world and give it a view direction and we can rotate that view direction around the Y axis all that we want to. Now I want to rotate my view direction up and down. I want to be able to say, hey, look up, look down, look up, look down. And actually doing that is not as difficult as it sounds. Say our camera is at this location and our camera is facing this direction on the horizontal, perfectly aligned with this XZ plane. We have our up vector that we keep around as a constant. And if I want to make this view vector point up or down, it doesn't really matter. All I have to do is rotate around another vector okay? to get this view direction to rotate around in the X z plane we rotate it around the y vector well to make it go up and down all we need to do is rotate it around another vector that vector will come out here to the right and the way we get that vector is very simple it's the cross product again go watch the game engine programming playlist if necessary but it doesn't matter if our view direction is facing perfectly horizontal or if it's pointing up or pointing down if i take my view vector and i cross it with my up vector, that will give me a vector perpendicular, perpendicular to these two vectors combined, my view vector and my up vector. And then once I have this vector, all I have to do is rotate around it. Also note that the order of crossing is important depending on what I want positive rotation to be. Positive rotation goes around the, uh, the uh, result vector in this direction. And in order to get the result vector to point out this way, since we're in a right-handed coordinate system, if you can imagine your fingers, let me get a different color, your fingers, the palm of your hand's right here, and your fingers are coming out like this. And then you curl your fingers towards the vector that you're crossing into. So we're crossing this vector into this vector the resulting vector will be in the direction of your thumb. So your thumb would stick out this way. I hope you like my awesome art here. So anyway, we need to cross the view vector into the up vector and then do a rotation. How much rotation do we want to do? Well, it depends on how much the mo mouse moved on the vertical, on the Y in screen space. If I move my mouse up a lot, then I want to rotate a lot up. If I move my mouse down, I want to rotate a lot down. So let's go to our code and actually do that. I'll bring our code back up and on the mouse update, this is the this is the horizontal update. We need to do the vertical update. So GLM vec3 uh, to rotate around gets GLM cross. I want to cross the view direction into my up vector and then just like we did up here I want to make a rotation matrix but instead of rotating around the up vector I want to rotate around our new to rotate around um, vector and really we can just use this exact same code I'm tempted to copy and paste oh why not why not generally when I copy and paste code it goes bad but we'll see look at me copying paste this magic number here we could do a const float uh, rotational rotational speed gets 0 0.5 f just to make myself feel better about not having a magic number that I'm copying and pasting. I'll say rotational speed, rotational speed, and then we want the mouse delta dot y y. And we don't want to rotate around the up vector anymore. We want to rotate around our new vector that we created by combining the view direction or crossing the view direction into the up vector. And same thing, we just assign the result back to view direction. And we should be good. Let's control a five this, run this, and see if it, yep. See how that works? My mouse moves up, camera moves up, mouse moves down, camera moves down. So now that I have the horizontal and the vertical, vertical, uh, you can see, hey, this is looking like a real first-person camera. That's fun. That's cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Next video, we need to get the camera moving around the world. That's actually epically easy. As I was getting ready to upload this video, I realized, you know, this is kind of messy. I don't want to leave it like this. And really, I can combine these rotation matrices into one matrix. I don't have to 
do the application and then redo the application. I mean, technically, if I want to be pixel perfect, maybe, but I'm not. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to grab this, our rotate for the vertical, and we'll apply it first to our vector. So I'll put that matrix on the right. Let me hit enter here and see if I can make this a little more uh, digestible. We'll do the cross product before we do any of the creation of the two matrices. And uh, you know what, just, to, just for readability, since this is a tutorial uh, video, I'm, I'll say GLM mate for rotator gets GLM rotate and rotate. Okay, here's one rotation matrix, here's another rotation matrix. I combine both of them using matrix multiplication, that's my rotator matrix. And then I'll only truncate that final matrix instead of doing it twice as I was doing here. Let me get rid of that, get rid of that. And then we only have to do this assignment once, and we need a semicolon. Control F5, let's make sure the 3D camera fill, yep. Feels like a first person camera. Very cool, and obviously you can adjust the speed here. Now that I don't have a magic number anymore, I could take the speed down significantly here. And now it's nice and slow. Okay, I'm kind of one for fast cameras. I'm a gamer and I like the camera a little fast, so I'll put it back at 0.5.